Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Droid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix the first descendant controller or gamepad is not working or it is not detecting and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the work done. The first one when you are having this particular trouble we need to try with enable or disable the steam input that is what we have to do. For this we just need to go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties now from here we have to go to the controllers go to use default settings we can set this to enable steam input try launching the game if that is not working change this to disable steam input and try launching the game so either we can keep this to enable the steam input or disable the steam input and try launching the game and that is what we have to do as the first step next one we need to always use wired controller when you are trying to play the game it should not be depending on the wireless controller so many users this particular issue was the reason so they later ended up in and fix this up next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game in the big picture mode so hence in the game just go over here at the top click on enter big picture mode now when you get into the game what we need to do is we just need to launch the game that is what we have to do so just go over here in the descendant game just launch the game and after launch the game most probably the issue will be fixed because when you launch the game in the big picture mode it worked for many years you can try this out we can go over here in the steam as well in order to exit it just go to the power go for exit big picture mode and once you go big picture mode exit from the big picture mode you can go back to the library now we can go back over here in the first descendant and try launching the game next one is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties go over here and we have to turn this off we need to turn on this uh, if it is turned on we have to turn this off once you turn this off you just need to go back try launch the game next one is all about we have to close overlay and overclocking application so just go over here in the search and we need to right click over here and we have to go over here in the task manager so go over here and as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so there are 53 apps running in the background which is why we are having the uh, issue all these things are running in the background so at the same time when you are launching the game these all things end up in having the crashing issue and we will not be having uh, we will not be able to fix this up so what we need to do is we just need to find the overclocking and overlay application so uh, what happens is uh, the discord is one of the main reason so discord comes to the category of overlay and if you go if you go down you can see a reward tuner msi afterburner which comes to the category of overclocking application and once afterwards just close this and we have to go back try launch the game next one we need to install the xbox accessories so just go over here in the game and we have to go over here and search for microsoft store search for the microsoft store now from here just wait to get this to get loaded up completely and afterwards what we need to do is we just need to go over here search for xbox accessories now from here go over here select this one and as you can see i have already installed this open this and once you open this if your controller is disconnected try controlling the xbox controller if you are using just update it afterwards try launch the game and most probably the issue regarding the controller will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye